Welcome to the last in our Most Stolen series. Over the last four videos we have looked at some of my most stolen images and how they were stolen. In those videos I mentioned that I used a copyright enforcement agency to track down the illegal use of my images. In this video we're going to take a look at how to use copyright enforcement websites in order to track down and get compensated for illegal image use. My name's Jason Rowe, I'm a freelance travel stock photographer and videographer and in this short series I'm going to take you through some of my most stolen images where they were posted, why and how they were stolen, and what you can do about image theft. The company I predominantly use is called CopyTrack, and in this video we will take a look at how they operate. There are also a number of other agencies, the most well known of which are probably Lapixia.com and Pixie.com. I will leave links to all three in the description below. Stay tuned to the end to see what images I have successfully recovered money from using CopyTrack. In another video I demonstrated how to use Google Reverse Image Search. Copyright infringement agencies work on the same principle except that you can upload and search for large batches of images. In the case of CopyTrack you can upload up to 1000 images, more on request. You can organise those images into various collections, which is useful for seeing where your most stolen images come from. CopyTrack's reverse image search bots then trawl the internet looking for matches for your images. This is a continual process updating the results every few days. When you get a hit, CopyTrack will show you the page and image links the domain who is information and a potential fee based on the industry standards. When I get a hit I look at both the image and page URLs. Often but not always the image URL will have the name of the stock agency in it. If this is the case the image is added to the legal list and will not appear again. If the URL reveals nothing then I will visit the page and take a look. If I suspect the image has been stolen I will check how often it has sold using MicroStocker. Incidentally MicroStocker is an amazing tool for stock photographers and videographers. Look out for a tutorial on that coming soon. If an image is sold widely via stock agencies then the chances are high that it has been legally licensed. However, like the four images we have talked about in the previous videos, there are some images that are all over the internet yet have sold in very low numbers. These types of images are the ones that I will ask CopyTrack to go after, assuming they are in countries where the results might be favourable. There are certain countries where copyright abuse is rampant but it's not even worth the effort to get CopyTrack to send them an email. The two biggest are Russia and China. If I decide that an image is being used illegally and there is a reasonable chance of winning I submit a claim. CopyTrack will ask me for various copyright ownership details and calculate a potential license fee. The next stage is that CopyTrack will send out an infringement email. These emails are non-accusative asking the website owner if they can provide a license for the image used. If they cannot or refuse to reply then a second email is sent as a follow-up with an invoice. The website's owner will have the opportunity to legally license the image or to remove it and pay compensation. The vast majority choose the latter. At this point some companies will ignore these emails but CopyTrack have copyright lawyers in a number of countries around the world and will weigh up the options on whether to take the infringer to court. Although the process can take several months I've had five successes so far recouping around 500 euros in compensation. The first was a sense of scale used by an Indian construction company. The second was Langeron Beach and as was mentioned it was used by an Italian travel agency. The third was this image taken in Santorini Greece used by a photographic website again in Italy. This one was used by a Belgian based travel agency and was most probably stolen from an article by Lonely Planet in a similar vein as to how the Langeron beach was stolen and to date is my largest compensation for a misused image. 
Tracking down copyright infringement is a long and slow process. However, the use of copyright enforcement agencies can simplify the process and dramatically reduce the amount of time a photographer spends chasing stolen images. CopyTrack charged 30% of the total amount recovered, which is pretty fair considering the amount of time it saves you. It's a long process and it can be quite depressing to see how many of your images are being used illegally, but if you can get some compensation it does alleviate the pain to a certain respect. That brings us to the end of this short series on stolen images. If you've had images stolen or want to know more about enforcement agencies, let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video series, don't forget to give us a like and a subscription. If you have photographer friends that might find this video useful, please feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and even better, a subscription. If you want to stay up to date when we publish new videos, ring the notifications bell. See you all again soon.